Since 1957, Maxon has been the leader in liftgate innovations that deliver higher reliability, enhanced productivity, and lower cost of ownership. From the invention of the first tuck-away gate in 1957 to industry-leading achievements like the BMRA column lift, GPT premium tuck-away, GPTLR level ride tuck-away, and DMD, the first direct medium-duty rail lift, to the latest advancements that make lift gates smarter, safer, and more reliable. Maxon helps you surpass your fleet's efficiency goals. Hello. This video will introduce you to the recommended periodic maintenance of the Maxon BMR column style lift gate. Please note that this video is only a supplement to the comprehensive BMR maintenance manual available on our website at www.maxonlift.com. Hard copies can also be ordered free of charge from Maxon customer service at 1-800-227-4116. It is essential that you read and understand the manual prior to conducting any maintenance work. This course is broken down into three sections. Section 1, Introduction, will review the BMR and its numerous features. Section 2, covers all warnings and safety instructions. And Section 3, Periodic Maintenance. Maxon's industry-leading BMR column lift liftgate has been designed to help maximize a fleet's efficiency. Note that the BMR offers many different optional features that may or may not be on your specific unit. In this video, we will always point these features out as optional. Now, let's cover some liftgate terminology. The BMR is a column lift style liftgate, which attaches to the rear frame of a truck or trailer. The BMR is made up of columns, chain assemblies, runner assemblies, a platform main, and a foldover section. The platform is connected to runner assemblies that move up and down within the columns. The platform features a fixed ramp, or an optional aluminum retention ramp, or optional cart stops. The BMR is equipped with automatic hydraulic lock valves at the top of the columns. These valves unlock electrically when the switch is activated in the down mode. In the raise mode, these valves open under hydraulic pressure from the pump and automatically close when the switch is released and the pump stops. The gate lifts hydraulically. The hydraulic pressure is created by an electric motor that connects to a pump. This motor gets its power from either the truck batteries or an auxiliary battery pack, which is charged by the alternator of the truck or tractor. There are two liftgate control locations. The main control is located on the side of the right column and can only be accessed when standing on the ground. It enables you to raise, lower, fold, and unfold the platform. The runner switch is located on the right-hand runner and allows the operator to raise and lower the platform while standing on the platform. If your BMR is equipped with the optional power down on demand, then the main control as well as the runner switch feature a push button that allows you to turn it on and off. Next, let's review the pump box controls. A master disconnect switch is located on the front of the pump box. If this switch is in the off position, it cuts the power to the lift gate. On a single pump configuration, this switch is either in the one or off position. On an optional dual pump configuration, this switch provides three selection options. The first option is the off position. This selection cuts power to both pumps and the second and third selection options, one or two, powers either pump one or pump two accordingly. The pump box and battery box feature a series of circuit breakers to protect the different electrical circuits. In the battery box, there are two circuit breakers, a 150 amp breaker that protects the charge line that is coming from the front of the truck or trailer, a second 200 amp breaker protects the power circuit from the batteries to the master disconnect. 
If equipped with an optional DC-DC converter recharge system, there will be an additional 30 amp circuit breaker. Located in the pump box is a 10 amp breaker that protects the circuit within the pump box. Additionally, a 2 amp inline fuse protects the switch supply circuit. Always comply with the warnings and safety instructions on pages 7 and 8 of the maintenance manual while maintaining lift gates. Additionally, review the operation manual for operating safety requirements. Do not stand or allow obstructions under the platform when lowering the lift gate. Be sure your feet are clear of the lift gate. Keep fingers, hands, arms, legs, and feet clear of moving liftgate parts and platform edges when operating the liftgate. Correctly stow the platform when not in use. Extended platforms could create a hazard for people and vehicles passing by. Disconnect the liftgate power cable from the battery before repairing or servicing the liftgate. Remove all rings, watches, and jewelry before doing any electrical work. If it is necessary to stand on the platform while performing maintenance on the liftgate, make sure to always keep your feet and any objects clear of the inboard edge of the platform. Your feet or objects on the platform can become trapped between the platform and the liftgate extension plate. Always read and understand all instructions in this maintenance manual before performing maintenance on the liftgate. Before operating the liftgate, Read and understand all instructions in the operation manual. Comply with all warning and instruction decals attached to the liftgate. Keep decals clean and legible. If decals are illegible or missing, replace them. Free replacement decals are available from Maxon Customer Service. See pages 10 and 11 of the manual for a blueprint and part numbers of all decals. Consider the safety and location of bystanders and location of nearby objects when operating the liftgate. Stand safely to the side of the platform while operating the liftgate. Do not allow untrained persons to operate the liftgate. Wear appropriate safety equipment, such as protective eyeglasses, a face shield, and proper clothing while performing maintenance on the liftgate and handling the battery. Be careful working by an automotive type battery. Make sure the work area is well ventilated and that there are no flames or sparks near the battery. Never lay objects on the battery that can short the terminals together. If battery acid gets in your eyes, thoroughly irrigate your eyes with water and immediately seek first aid. If acid gets on your skin, immediately wash it off with soap and water and again, seek first aid treatment. If an emergency situation arises, vehicle or liftgate, while operating the liftgate, release the control switch to stop the liftgate. A correctly installed liftgate operates smoothly and reasonably quiet. The only noticeable noise during operation comes from the power unit while the platform is being raised. Listen for scraping, grating, and binding noises, and correct the problem before continuing to operate the liftgate. Use only Maxon authorized parts for replacement parts. Provide liftgate model and serial number information with your parts order. Order replacement parts from Maxon Lift Corporation, Customer Service, 11921 Slauson Avenue, Santa Fe Springs, California, 90670. Online, www.maxonlift.com. Express Parts Ordering, 800-227-4116, extension 4345. Email parts at maxonlift.com. Periodic maintenance must be performed quarterly or at 1,250 cycles. Additionally, there are some checks that are only required annually or at 5,000 cycles. Pages 12, 13, and 14 of the manual provide a comprehensive checklist and overview of the following maintenance checks. Quarterly, or at 1250 cycles, inspect that all decals are in place and undamaged. 
pages 10 and 11 of the manual show the preferred decal layout. Missing or damaged decals can be ordered free of charge by contacting Maxon Customer Service at 1-800-227-4116. Next, check for oil leaks on all components of the hydraulic system. Start with the cylinders and follow the system into the pump box. Check every fitting, hose, and valve. Finally, inspect the oil filter and all fittings inside the pump box. Check for signs of physical damage on ramps, platforms, columns, runners, and hydraulic tubes. Check for proper operation of cart stop or ramps, if equipped. Check for loose or missing nuts, bolts, covers, roll pins, screws, and pins. Check for cracked welds on columns, runners, platforms, chain arms, pump box, and door frame. Check platform pins and the opening closing mechanism. Check the roller assemblies. Check the platform chains for wear each time maintenance is performed. Next, lower the platform to ground level and check if the tip of the flip over and bottom of the runners touch the ground at the same time. If the bottoms of the runners are off the ground, measure the distance from the ground to the bottom of the runners. Adjustment is not required if distance is one inch or less. If distance is more than one inch, please refer to the chapter on platform chain adjustment in the maintenance manual. Next, check if the platform main section and flip over section are flush to each other. First, ensure that the platform is completely unfolded. Then use a long straight edge to determine if the top surface of the platform is flush with the top surface of the flip over. If the flip over requires adjustment, please follow the procedure in the maintenance manual. Check the platform lowering speed. The correct range is 8 to 22 seconds for the BMR 35 and BMR 44, or 12 to 27 seconds for the BMR 55 and BMR 66 with an unloaded platform. Next, check the platform raising speed. The range is 9 to 21 seconds for the BMR 35 and BMR 44, or 13 to 26 seconds for the BMR 55 and BMR 66 with an unloaded platform. Check the open and close speed. The correct range is 4 to 7 seconds in either direction. Check all switches, circuit breakers, and wiring connections on the liftgate, as well as inside the pump box. Also check that the ground strap connections are tight. Check the gear pump for unusual noise, such as squealing or excessive RPM. Before you start the next steps, consider the following general guidelines for dealing with the gate's hydraulic system. Keep dirt, water, and other contaminants from entering the hydraulic system. Before opening the hydraulic fluid reservoir filler cap, the drain plug, or hydraulic lines, clean up any contaminants that can get into the openings. Also, protect the openings from accidental contamination. Never mix synthetic fluids with conventional hydraulic fluids. The hydraulic system must be purged if the fluids are mixed. In order to correctly check the oil level, the platform must be stowed. Open the pump box cover to gain access to the full line and filler cap. Information for checking the hydraulic fluid level is shown on a decal on the pump reservoir. Check if the hydraulic fluid level is at the full line. If necessary, Remove the filler cap and add the correct grade of hydraulic fluid until the level rises to the full line. Refer to the table on page 17 of the manual for oil recommendations. Finally, reinstall the filler cap and close the pump box cover. Check the oil for contamination. If needed, change the oil in the following way. On gravity down models, Place an empty 5-gallon bucket under the drain plug. Then open and lower the platform to the ground. Next, 
remove the drain plug and drain the hydraulic fluid from the system. Then, reinstall the drain plug. Now, remove the filler cap and refill the reservoir until the hydraulic fluid level rises to the full line. And finally, reinstall the filler cap. If you need to change oil on a power down on demand model, you must switch the gate into gravity down mode and then proceed with the oil changing procedure as described before. Note that battery malfunctions such as low state of charge are the single most likely cause of lift gate operation issues. Check batteries carefully. Are the hold downs tight? Are the batteries damaged? Are the cables in good shape and connections tight? Check open circuit voltage and date codes. Remove the cables in order to separate the batteries. Let the batteries sit for a couple of minutes and clean the terminals. Add adapters and make sure the adapter is touching the lead pad. Check the voltage of each battery. A good pack should be very close in voltage and over 12.4 volts for flooded and 12.6 for AGM type batteries. Make sure to use the tester correctly. If the batteries are bad, replace them. If voltage is low, charge the batteries. Check all charging and ground cable connections. Check operation of the two platform flashing lights when the platform is unfolding and open on the ground. If the lights stop working, Order replacement lights. Pump EP synthetic grease into each lube fitting at the two platform pivots and the two roller axles on the four tandems, if equipped with roller assemblies. Wipe away any grease seepage. Ensure each of the tandem rollers is clean and free of grease. And finally, follow your company's guidelines for completing PM stickers and maintenance records for the lift gate. There are also a few maintenance tasks to be performed annually, or at 5,000 cycles. Replace the spin-on filter in the pump box and change the hydraulic fluid if contaminated. Please refer to the earlier section about how to replace the hydraulic fluid. Inspect wear on slide pads on the right and left runners. The Maxon BMR column lift is designed to perform for many years. Periodic maintenance is key in getting the best performance out of this exceptional and reliable liftgate. Please make sure to carefully study the maintenance manual and contact Maxon with any additional questions you might have.